Festival Inaganish Summer Theatre is Nova Scotia's first and longest running repertory company. Over the course of its 24 year history, the theatre has become a landmark of the Inaganish arts and culture landscape. You know, we're a summer theatre. People are looking for an evening or an afternoon of entertainment. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they have to check all their intellect at the, uh, at the door, you know. But the emphasis is on giving people a good, entertaining few hours in the theatre. One of the things that I've noticed from looking out this window for the past 24 years is um, we steadily are increasing our audience every year. Every year there's more. and. Um, there's more people coming, our numbers pretty much go up every year, so we must be doing something right. So the summer season, which runs from July to August, features six plays over three stages. There's the main stage series here at the Boward, the family series, and the second stage series. Now, we now have state-of-the-art lighting and sound equipment, which allows us, for instance, to facil facilitate our uh, repertoire system. We're the only theatre company uh, in Nova Scotia, I believe, that does uh, a, a three-show repertoire, actually a four-show repertoire, and we've got our youth theatre production running as well. That's available as part of the package. Festival Inaganish cycles their performances, and if you time it right, you can catch all three main stage shows over the course of one weekend. Uh, you know, one of the attractions of Festival Inaganish is that somebody can arrive in town on a Friday afternoon see a show Friday night, see a different show Saturday afternoon, and a third different show uh, Saturday evening. And if they're real theatre junkies, they often have the availability of a, a youth theatre show and a stage two show uh, at, at, a, at different points in the season. You know. With a capacity of 228 seats and a low semicircular stage front, the Bower has earned a reputation as an intimate setting for live theatre. doubt our production values reside not in you know scenery or that kind of thing they reside in the actor in the middle of the audience telling a good entertaining story I have never had the experience uh, that I've had here with the with having sold out houses sort of consistently and them coming ready to have a good time and then being on stage and the audience being so loud that we can't hear our cues. We can't hear each other yeah. talking. We can't hear the phones ringing. We can't hear the doorbells going. And where we can stand for long periods of time and just look at each other and the audience will continue laughing for a yeah. long time. It's really, it's really totally awesome. And uh, sort of is like, it's like that, it's the essence of theater that you kind of want to get with all of your shows where the audience and you are totally together and having a great time. That's, that has been my biggest memory of being here in Anaconda, personally. Festival in Inaganish is often run by actors and directors who call the Maritimes home. The artistic producer selects plays from a range of Canadian and international authors. We, we choose our actors. We try to choose Nova Scotia actors. And more often than not, that's what we do. We, yes, you're correct. We are an equity theatre. That means we're, we, uh, we work under the uh, Actors' Equity Association of Canada contract. So we're a fully professional theatre. We need actors who are versatile, uh, who uh, can uh, carry off three plays and present three different performances to the audience convincingly. The audience actually respond to that very well. They like to see uh, the actors uh, showing different aspects of, uh, as I say, of their versatility. Vibe amongst the company creates a great vibe, I think, on stage, um, sort of a generous um, fun vibe which 
then crosses over into the audience. So the company this year was fantastic, and last year's company was as well. I think Ed has a real talent for putting together people that get along really well, not just um, actors, but the crew here is fantastic. And um, you know, when when you can work in a situation like that, it's it's a real treat because it doesn't always happen. And the other the other part of what I do is I like to get at least two guest directors in because I'm I'm the director and I am a director, but it's essential. I think to um, to get in other perspectives in the director's seat. Before we head to the theater, a night out starts at one of Annie Ganesh's many restaurants and bistros. Tonight, we're going to Gabrio's, which specializes in world-class cuisine and a fine wine selection. As August draws to a close, Festival Anaganish segues into Theater Anaganish, promising continued entertainment throughout the whole year. 